Hey everyone, okay, I'm going to do the update on the brine shrimp hatchery and egg separator. Alright, first thing you need to do is this is the actual base that holds the bottle. Make sure the cap is tight on there, you don't need no water leaks. Put the base inside there like so. Run your airline through the jar or bottle all the way down to the bottom inside. I went ahead and added a suction cup so that I can hold the airline in place. You're going to be hooking your airline to an air pump. I put a valve on here just so that I can adjust the flow. You don't want the water boiling. You just want to be able to stir the eggs up. Mix up a salt water solution. Mix up a little bit more. All right. What you want to do, fill this PVC cap. It's a 4-inch PVC cap. Fill it halfway full of salt water. Take it and dump it inside the jar. Or bottle in this case. All right. From this point, now you're going to take your brine shrimp eggs, add like a teaspoon or less down inside of here. Start your air pump. Get a bubbling but not crazy bubbling. You want it just enough to stir the actual shrimp eggs. And then take a light like a desk lamp or whatever you may have that's bright. Put it over the top of this thing. You want to get the temperature up to 78 to 80 in that range. Alright, you really don't have to monitor it but I'm just saying try to get it up to that warm temperature. It takes 18 to 20 hours to hatch brine shrimp by the way. Once that's done, what you're going to do is we'll use this thing for now. Or no, actually I've got a container here. What we'll do is you're going to take this lid and you're going to take this piece out. All right, so now you got your net. It's actually a woman's fish stocking inside there. Fish net stocking, whatever the case is. Or pantyhose. You're going to take your brine shrimp and your eggs and you're going to pour it through this net totally like so you're going to catch all your brine shrimp all your eggs egg shells pour it through the net until you get everything in there all right now this water you're going to discard now what you're going to do is you're going to take your PVC cap and you're going to take a new thing of water salt water you're going to flip this thing upside down now you're going to pour this through here and you're going to fill this base up to where it's about three eighths of an inch below the top instead of half like it was before all right so about three eighths of an inch that washed all your brine shrimp and eggs out of here now all right now what you're going to do is you're going to take this and if you look this is drilled see how the drilled holes are well, up here at the top you've got a hole in a hole. They're much bigger than these. You're going to slip this thing inside here like so. I don't know if the light's blocking it or not. But you're going to, you have to align these holes with the V's inside here. Alright. As you can see the actual hole up inside there. See the hole? And you flip it around and there's a hole up there. Alright. And you got extra little holes down here as well. What you're going to do is you're going to set this down into the actual thing. Now the water's up inside that tube and inside the net and whatnot. Now what's going to happen is you're going to take your bright light again, put it on top of here, concentrate it on this hole. The shrimp in turn, because they go straight to light, they're going to swim straight up and they're going to work themselves through the holes into the net, into the top. All right. Say we get all our shrimp up into the net now. Now what you're going to do? Take this out, take your PVC piece out, get rid of your lid, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your, dump this salt water out because you're not going to need it no more. So we'll just get rid of the salt water real quick. You can, I'm going to just use this, but you could use a glass, whatever the case may be. Now you take your salt water solution, but this time don't use salt water solution that you made. Use your aquarium water. Now you're going to flip this thing upside down and you're going to pour this back through. Alright. So now you're just washing all your shrimp out of this little net. Now make sure all your shrimpers are out. There you have it. Now this thing is going to be full of shrimps. 
you know, a little brine shrimp. You can drop this straight into your, your aquarium because you've got the aquarium water in here now. Or if you want, you can start your own brine shrimp farm basically by putting it in like a little five gallon tank or a one gallon tank. I would suggest not using the filter because you're going to suck up the brine shrimp. But uh, that's pretty much it. Alright, so comment, rate, subscribe, and let me know what you think. I think it's pretty cool. It's a neat little gadget. You can definitely make improvements with it whatnot. not. But for what it is, I think it will definitely work. So I'll give it a go for real probably tomorrow and see how it works out. Alright, with that, everybody have a good night. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.